Alright, hey y'all. So, it's been a week and I finished watching Wednesday. So, probably gonna be some spoilers here. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, definitely. So, anyway. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed the show. It was, it was cute. They had things in it. It was intriguing. I'm definitely gonna watch it when it comes back or whatever. But, this video is more about the things that I think were missed opportunities. And, for me, the main missed opportunity was the fact that you had Jenna Ortega and you have Luis Guzman play, playing you know Wednesday and Gomez and I'm just like why aren't they speaking Spanish I mean like okay they made, I feel like there was this whole thing made about her Jenna being you no know, Wednesday and uh, um, miracles embracing in the her the Spanish background that having has been established like in the comics and she barely says anything anything in another language other than when she has a whole scene in German and I'm just like Clearly, from things that I remember about, like the comic and the other movies, like Wednesday was Gomez's like favorite child, and I just think it made sense for them to speak to each other in Spanish, as if there was like their own thing. That was like their mutual, like, like their daddy daughter thing. Like when she goes and sees him in the prison, like that whole scene, in my opinion, could have been in Spanish or even in Spanglish. Like that was just such a missed opportunity for me. Like you have her listening to Spanish music in the background, and and I'm just, I don't know. I just think if you were going to make this whole point to have everybody's fake Latina, Catherine Zeta Jones, talk about, you know, Gomez's family coming from Mexico and then Wednesday talking about Dia de los Muertos, I mean, like, they should have. I think it was just a missed opportunity to really lean in to what was supposed to be the Adams' Mexican heritage. I'm just like, if you're going to bring that in, they should, I feel like they should have leaned harder into it. I don't know. May, or somebody else could have written it. And I'm not saying it had all be written by Tim Burton oh, it wasn't all written by him he had other writers but like I just think that was just a really a missed opportunity and I would have loved to have seen like them do that and just I don't know what are your thoughts do you think that was a missed opportunity or do you agree with it not being there now if you didn't know who Christina Ricci was you don't know that you know she was you know, I'm gonna say the original Wednesday but she was the most well-known Wednesday at least for me now for me, because I knew who she was, it was quite obvious she was the the overall villain. And where I think was a missed opportunity was that, you know, her character, uh, Miss Thornhill, and then Dr. Kimball. Wait, I knew right away that Dr. Kimball was going to be a misdirection. Almost, oh, not right right away, but I had a sneaky suspicion that she, either she was the bad guy or was going to be a misdirection or they were in cahoots with each other. And this is where I think the misdirection, the missed opportunity came. They could have, like, because we were all were like, oh, the blonde, that's the sister, da 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 da. I mean, that was just, like, y'all are trying to, you know, distract us from the fact that you have Christina Ricci there, who is clearly the bad guy. And I was just like, what y'all could have done, instead of being so blatantly obvious, like, she could, they could have been in cahoots with each other. Like, it could have been like, oh no, ah, I'm gonna die. But then you see her come around the corner, and they're all in the crypt or out in the courtyard. She's like, ha ha ha. We known each other all along, and but then of course it would have been. I didn't want it to be that whole evil lesbian trope or anything, but it. I think it would have been better had they been in cahoots with each other, so that it was like a misdirection for us and for Wednesday, because it was just so blatantly obvious she was the bad guy, right? Right. But the other thing I think I would have loved is if um if she, um that um what's her name. Miss Thornhill had been like the descendant of Crackpot and not been a Garrett, but Dr. Um, Kimball had been, you know, the Garrett person like that. And then they were both trying to exact their revenge at the same time, but didn't know each other were exacting their revenge at the same time. So they could have been like, ah, oh, I'm bad guy, ah, oh, I'm bad guy, who are you? You know, <laughs> something like that. Cause it was just like, for me, there was just wasn't, there was some suspense. I mean, there were a few moments where I was like, well, it's so obvious that she's the bad guy. Maybe she's not. But then it was just like, yeah, of course she's the bad guy. So I wish they would have been a little bit more clever about it. And I really think it would have been fun to see them both doing their own revenge plans on the Adams family without each other knowing. So it could have been more like a crash at the end instead of it being crackpot, being all like, you know, his sexist pilgrim self towards um miss thornhill and it would have been like a clash of two women trying to do like their do revenge basically so what are your thoughts do you think that plot twist would have been better than the obvious one of 
her being that guy. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. <laughs>